And we're going to be talking about the game that most will be watching to close out their college football marathon on Saturday night as Texas A&M hosts Notre Dame at Kyle Field and College Station at 7.30 p.m., a game you can watch nationally on ABC. The Aggies are a uh, three-point favorite against Notre Dame, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how Mike Elko fares in his debut as Texas A&M head coach. He uh, had been at Duke, had great success, is returning to A&M, uh, where he was the defensive coordinator for a number of years, taking over that job after a season as Notre Dame's defensive coordinator. So very familiar with both programs is Mike Elko, extremely familiar with the quarterback he's going to face as uh, Riley Leonard was his QB at Duke. Uh, and now the potential first round pick in the NFL will look to close out his college career with a strong season in South Bend with the Fighting Irish. He is uh, going to take over a uh, squad and offense that loses uh, running back Audric Estime, who's now playing in the pros. But uh, certainly there's no uh, question that Notre Dame has the talent to be a threat to make the college football playoff to have a strong showing in Marcus Freeman's third season. Freeman won nine games in his first season, won 10 games last year. His quarterback was Sam Hartman, who was at Wake Forest all those seasons. And then last year had a pretty strong showing in, uh, in South Bend before going off to try and make his NFL dreams come true. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, this Notre Dame squad fares with a new quarterback, but certainly Leonard, very gifted, an extremely fast runner, a good at improvisation, and uh, certainly has talent around him. It's just a matter of whether it can coalesce to deal with the 12th man because of the 102,000 plus that will pack Kyle Field. Most will be Texas A&M fans, and that will be a big deal in this contest. Both teams have new offensive coordinators, uh, as uh, Notre Dame replaced theirs. And uh, they have Mike Dembrock going into this game. He was at the, uh, spent the last two seasons with LSU, but when his, was an assistant in South Bend for most of the last decade. So uh, he will look to replicate the success that he had with uh, uh, Jalen Daniels, the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, and uh, try to get the most out of Riley Leonard uh, who is just as fast as Daniels, believe it or not, not quite the passer, but we'll see if his accuracy improves uh, in South Bend under Dembrock. And uh, for the A&M side, having Mike Elko, huge recruit, uh, huge coup um, recruiting wise in terms of having a coach like that now at your disposal, uh, he takes over a program that really underachieved the last few seasons under Jimbo Fisher, despite a ton of NIL money being spent, great recruiting wins. Uh, Texas A&M just has really struggled. They went five and seven in 2022, just seven and six last year, defeated Oklahoma State in the Texas Bowl. So they do have some momentum here. And uh, here's a stat for the goal from the goal sheet that uh, you should be aware of. In ranked versus ranked games where the total is at least 45 points, home favorites are 210, 150, and 11 against the spread. That's 58%. Uh, and uh, they are 17, 6, and 1 against the number last season in that situation. So um, certainly that trend favors Texas A&M. Texas A&M also won the last meeting between these teams, but that was way back in 2001, a 24 to 3 Texas A&M victory at Kyle Field. Notre Dame still leads the series between the Irish and Aggies 3 to 2. Uh, first three meetings were at the Cotton Bowl. So this is only the third regular season meeting between these squads. A&M 11-0 in home openers at Kyle Field, 7-4 and four, uh, against the number there. Uh, so the favorite in this series is 4-1, and 2-3 and three against the number. So from that standpoint, if you want to go trends, if you back think that Alco will have the A&M defense ready to play and the atmosphere will be too much for Riley Leonard uh, in his first game with a new team, I recommend backing Texas A&M on the money line. Get the best line you can get. It's a 148 at DraftKings, and that's what we'll use for the purposes of this video. But if you can get it better uh, somewhere else, you always want to shop for the best line. But 
go ahead and bet the money line because you don't want to push if A&M wins by three on a last second field goal. You certainly don't want to lose if A&M wins this game by one or two points by laying the three. So if you have a strong opinion on Notre Dame, take Notre Dame plus the three. If you're backing Texas A&M, bet the money line. That's our recommendation here. Uh, the Fighting Irish lost their only game as an underdog last season, although they led Ohio State until literally the final second. So uh, we'll see how they respond here. I expect both teams to have a strong season, but I back Notre Dame in this contest. The favorite to score a touchdown in this game is Jeremiah Love at plus 550 uh, to score two or, or more touchdowns in this game, minus 110 to find the end zone. Le'Veon Moss is at plus 105 to be an anytime touchdown score. Leonard is at plus 150. Uh, and again, he is such a threat with his legs. That would not be a bad bet. The points should be hard to come by uh, for both teams. That's why the total is set at just 47. Uh, for Notre Dame, the team total is about 21, 21 and a half. For A&M, it's about 25, 25 and a half. So again, this is going to be a very tight game, I would think. I actually lean under, but the play here for the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel is to back uh, Texas A&M on the money line. Make sure you are subscribed to all our videos here on the channel so you never miss a play. And be aware that we have a great deal going at a Sports Memo where if you buy two weeks, you get the third week free. Uh, all access deals going on right now at both Sports Memo and Wager Talk. So check out the sites, pick the package that you want best, the handicapper that you most trust, and let's make some money together. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero. You can check out my page at Sports Memo at sm.buzz slash TDM. Once, once again, we're going with Texas A&M to beat Notre Dame on the money line Saturday night in College Station. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Mejia.